<laughs> oh man. Uh, so um, Chris wasn't the only one who could get in trouble for maybe some um, what would we call alternative truths. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, cousin Trev was in. Oh yeah, Trev stayed with us for about a year. It was like Toby's daughter's. I mean Toby's sister's son. Right. And he was from New York. Right. So right. he was like turning, maybe turning circles in New York. Right. So she sent him down to get some of my skills. Right, right, right. So Trevor moves in, and one day we come downstairs, and Trevor is, Toby is like on Trevor's case, and by wearing his, her sweatshirt. Uh -huh. No, we had these five boys in the house. She never had to worry about us bobbing any of her stuff because it was girl stuff. Right, but right. But you had given her a sweatshirt, and she picked the sweatshirt up to put on. A South Lakes High sweatshirt. Yeah. yeah. And it had, like, dirt around the collar and it, right. and smelled like stuff, <laughs> what she never would smell like. Right, right. <laughs> so she was hollering at Trevor that he right. wore a sweatshirt. Well, he said, to, he said, well, no, I didn't. So I said to Toby, I said, well, it seemed like to me, if he didn't wear it, he said he didn't wear it, he probably didn't wear it. Right. She said, I know what my shirts look like, and I would never have left it that way. <laughs> so then I'm saying to myself, well, time for me to just get out of this. Because, <laughs> you know, when Toby, if she gets upset, yeah, all look, of us might get beat up, you know. <laughs> and so I'm going to have to hide behind one of you guys. Right. <laughs> so after a while, <laughs> Troy whispered to me, he said, uh, Dad, Trevor has a picture with that sweatshirt on. <laughs> like photographic evidence. Yeah. So um, I then said to Trevor, I said, Trevor, you are not telling the truth. I said, um, I saw a picture with you in that shirt. Right, right, and all, right. And all the wind went out of it. <laughs> and he confessed up, right? Right, right, right. So the other thing that Trevor did. And he, by the way, Taking in Trevor was probably, I mean, something you would naturally do, and you take in because you would be bored. So you got me out of the house. You, Vince was, was, was gone. Anthony was gone. So and, you just needed more toys to play with. Well, what, if you guys remember, when you big guys were in the house, it was more of a challenge. Because you remember that one day, um, I had told you guys that I wanted that there was only one king in the house. Yes. And I, and I chose him to be me. Yes. Well. I used to walk by your heads and do your heads like this. Yeah, yeah. So you guys were sitting on the couch, all three of you. Right. And I walked by and, and said, bloom, bloom, bloom on your heads. I said, you cowards. Years on. This, that guy needed a jump, but we can, yeah, never mind. Yeah. Go ahead. So I, would you, so I, you, go ahead. I said, you cowards. One guy here and you three big guys, because you guys were two seniors and a junior. Yes. And I said, and you guys won't even jump me. Well, you guys must have planned to jump me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We had a plot. And so when I walked past, all of a sudden, all three of you just jumped on me. <laughs> and now I'm down on the ground. And my little kingdom looks like it's going to float away if I don't win. <laughs> right. So, right. so um, I said, well, I'm going to have to make one of these people hurt. So right. Anthony made the mistake of having his head up close to where I was. <laughs> so I got my arm around Anthony and I started choking him. And I, I was choking him hard too because right. I needed you guys to quit. You're right, cause, because yeah, you can't lose the kingdom. There's right. only one king right. and, and the, it's about to be overthrown. Right. And, this, and this was like a 230 pounder. He was, he was and, built like a man. Right, and you were like about 190. And Anthony was like about 210. He was 210, 2, yeah. 215. So yeah. I've got like 600 pounds of kids <laughs> fighting me for my kingdom. Right? And I'm not willing to give it up. Right. So I start choking Anthony <laughs> until he starts screaming. And you two guys got scared. Yeah, man. Upstairs. Hey, look. I, I can I can hear Anthony already starting to like whimper. <laughs> like, I don't want no parts of that. Especially since you and I had never really wrestled. And you, know, you knew you would lose something. Yes, fast. yes. You started me young. So right. yeah, these, these two new guys. Guys, they're testing the, their, uh, the and, boundaries, and they must have put you up to it because you you participated. Yeah, I them. did participate, but right. I, I was kind of uh, you know I, I was an unwilling participant. <laughs> well, <laughs> when Vince ran, you ran. Yeah, and, and so I made sure that I put enough pain on Anthony that you guys wouldn't decide to do this again. Right, right. And I even like gave him a little carpet burn on the side of his head, <laughs> and, and then you and Vince. 
walk side by side for the rest of the day. <laughs> yeah, man. And saying like, yeah. oh, we're not going to separate because you'll get one of us. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Because we we're just fantasizing about, you know, like we, if, if Anthony hadn't got caught and we had you, it would have been like, it would have been our kingdom. I, hey, Pop, I know you go get me a Pepsi, man. Right. You would have said, that's exactly what you guys would have done. You would have said, hey, hey, look, hey Pops, fix look. us some extra pork chops tonight. <laughs> yeah, man. Hey, can you hurry it up? And I would have to go around that, oh. and, and, and do what you told me. Yeah, yeah in but the see, dream, in the dream. But see, I got that from my dad. My dad used to wrestle with me and my brother all the time. Uh -huh. And I saw my father, when he was moving, uh -huh. they had some straps. And he put the straps around this refrigerator uh -huh. and bent over and walked it up the steps. <laughs> so I knew that there was no reason to ever let my father hit me. Because, <laughs> like, yeah, it, it might knock you out forever. My father <laughs> hit me one time on the butt and it was like a boom. <laughs> and I just kept walking. Because, like, this ain't going to happen again. No. <laughs> <laughs> right. And right. so when we would wrestle with him, he would, like, pin both of us with no sweat. <laughs> so I, I knew that there was never going to be a time right. where I could beat him. <laughs> well, I came home from school, and I was about my junior year. Uh -huh. So now I'm in my third year playing linebacker right. for the University of Cincinnati Bearcats. Right. And I am bad. <laughs> you know, I handle 270-pound tackles. Uh -huh. So I came home one day, and I said something to my father. I said, well, you know, you're not really the king anymore. I am. <laughs> and so he said, well, yeah, you think so? Right. So we started wrestling, and we wrestled, and we wrestled. And I got him pinned down in this chair on his back like a big turtle. <laughs> and so he was on his back just trying, you know, to, get up, around, right, trying right. to get up. And I had him pinned. <laughs> so I jumped up and said, I am now the king of this house. <laughs> so he said, oh, I could have got you off me if I wanted to. <laughs> and I said, I oh, know you couldn't. He said, well, look, I'm going to get back down in the chair. And you get on top of me and see, can I get you off me? Well, see, that's like when Grant asked me to play him again. <laughs> yeah, 1-0 right. right. is a better story. Because right. Grant's going to beat me a thousand times in a row. <laughs> and did you notice I never played him again? Right, right. So if Grant sees this, I probably could still beat you. <laughs> <laughs> so, and as, and as far as we know, it's 1-0. Right. Grant, you lost to me. <laughs> One zero, and if I played you tomorrow, it'd be two zero. <laughs> oh, stop, stop. So anyway, yeah. So, so you, my fa my father, I knew that his ego was damaged. Right. So if I got back on top of him, he probably was gonna throw me up to the ceiling. <laughs> well, right. see, I already had a well developed rules of kingdoms. Right. Uh, when you depose the old king. Don't put don't, 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 Yeah, don't put <laughs> <laughs> So right. I just I just walked away like John Wayne. Like, <laughs> yeah. uh, you hey, know. This is my place. <laughs> right. So I just walked away like John Wayne because I'm not going to jump back on him. Right, right. And have him do whatever he wanted to me. <laughs> and then my kingdom would have lasted like 10 seconds. Yeah, it would have been done. Done. So the other Trevor story um, about the grades. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Trevor. Trevor um, wasn't really doing very good in school. So he brought his report card home, and it had a G on it. <laughs> like, so I had written G. G. So I, I said, uh, Trevor, <laughs> what kind of grade is G? He said, that's not a G, that's a C. I said, Trevor, that's a, a G. G. And that's in his handwritten. <laughs> Like what, what report card has a G on it? Right. A G, uh, handwritten, and what is a G? Correct. <laughs> so I, he said, well, I had a book outstanding, so she changed the grade at the last minute to a C. I said, you turn the book in, and she changed that grade from a, looks like an F to a, 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 a G. He said, no, that's a C. So I said, uh, now tell me this again. So then I said, Trevor, get this paper out, write this out, what happened. Because um, You went to the Chris method. Yeah. Write it out. Right. So he wrote down the story and I looked at it. I said, well, now Trevor, something's wrong with this story. I said, I, I, I should tell you that I called the school today to find out what your grades were. And that's like a D. <laughs> he's, a, he's like, whoa. And, and so then he just fast up. Yeah. Like, I didn't call the school. <laughs> I just told him I yeah, was going to call him. Right, right, right. And so he fessed up. 